Interior of the music venue. Adam is in the green room. He walks in and the band Never Ending Story of Pain is chilling on the couch. They are dressed up super emo and just playing on their phones. They do not look up when Adam walks in. What's up, guys? Guys, did you just assume our gender? No, it's a colloquialism to encompass a whole group, like y'all. Guy is a gender. Yep, so is girl and non-binary. So you're assuming our gender. Despite what you think, not everyone is concerned with your vapid self-possession with gender. Sometimes we just use words because over the course of thousands of years of English language evolution, we've agreed specific sounds have an understood meaning. What? You're saying you're offended by the assumption of gender and you feel that gives you the right to be an asshole. Well, how would you like it if I called you a girl? I couldn't think of anything that would hurt me more. See? The world is crumbling and we as a people have become more divided than ever. You think the solution is to alienate allies? You don't sound like an ally. I am. Let's start over. What gender do you identify as? Male, he, him. But it's not fair to assume. Life is full of assumptions. If I see a maniac blasting everyone in a room and then reach me, I'm going to make the assumption that's going to happen to me. Assumptions make an ass out of... Shut the fuck up, that doesn't make sense. If we base all human experience on only the situations we comprehend 100%, we'd still be smashing women in the head as a courting ritual. Why it's gotta be women? It's a good thing you're handsome, because you're not bright. Dude, that's gay. No fucking way. You're homophobic? No! No! What you said was really gay. I can think a tree is pretty and not necessarily want to go have sex with it. Wait, what are you even doing here? I'm the guitar tech. If you get that swoosh out of your eyes, you might have recognized me. You're not James. Astute. Where's your guitar? The NESP guitarist points to the corner and Adam grabs the guitar. He walks out without another word. He leaves and walks out on stage. The crowd cheers and then dies down once they realize. Hey, that's not no learning story of pain. No, they're backstage. I'm just going to do the warm-up. We want to ask. Shouldn't you be at home doing your homework or something? I did it, jack off. Look, man, I'm the warm-up act. You've been to a concert before, right? There's usually someone before the headliner. I've seen concerts. Probably more than you. Boy, you are going to get schooled. Did you just assume my gender? No, that's an insult, not an indictment of your chosen gender. I was born this way. Now, how was I supposed to know that? All you had to do was look at my wrist. See, it's blue today, so I identify as a he, him today. It wasn't an assumption of your gender. It was an insult. You mean like how they used to call slaves a boy? No! I mean, they did, but no, not that. Man, it must be so hard to be so bigoted. One day you'll be on the right side of history. I'm gender inclusive and not racist. Just let everyone be. Actions speak louder than words. Do you get all your dialogue off motivational posters and angry Facebook posts? This old guy's still using Facebook. The audience members laugh together. Twitter or whatever. Try to have an original thought. I am special and unique. The camera pans to show everyone looking exactly the same. Yep, I'm just going to play now. Audience member one and audience member two start to boo. But Adam starts playing. He plays Soko Amaretto Lime by Brand New. Others start to join in the booing. Eventually, Ness walk out and the crowd cheers. Ness guitarist takes the guitar out of Adam's hands and helps him up. He leans in close and whispers in Adam's ear. Face it, old man. Emo's for our generation. You've aged out, bro. You don't get to corner the market on sadness. The Ness guitarist shrugs and Adam is escorted off stage. Let's give it up for that sad old band. Not like emo sad, but like life sad. Interior, Max and Jesse's house. There's a knock at the door and Max answers. Robert is there. Max invites him in. Hey buddy, what's up? What do you mean? Adam called me to tell me to come here. Why? I don't know. I assumed he'd call you too. It sounded important. He didn't call us. You said he's coming here? He said he was. He was all panicked. I don't know if I've ever heard him this unsettled. A car screeches to his stop outside. A door slams and Adam busts through the door. What's up, Adam? Is everything okay? No, it's not. 
What is it, man? Yeah, we're here for you. Adam takes a deep breath, and a tear rolls out of his eye. It's dead. Oh my god, what's dead? Emo. What the fuck? Yep. They killed it. Whom? Teenagers. There's a brief pause where everyone looks around the room, and then there is a relieved laughter. What the fuck? You can't just call everyone together for this bullshit. I know. I know. But if I didn't do something dramatic, you all wouldn't realize how serious this thing is. This screams teenage girl even more than those pants you're wearing. Har har. We have to do something about this. You're suggesting we retake a musical genre? How? You know how. No. Yes. What are you talking about? No. Well, Robert and I... Do not say it. Have been... Please, God, no! Playing Nemo together in a storage facility. Robert physically recoils with the words, prepared to be mercilessly made fun of by his friends. That's pretty cool, man. Why didn't you invite us? Because it's embarrassing. You guys have your married thing. You're always together. That's because we're married. We can still have fun, though. So, you're in? In. We're getting the band back together, bro. No. But you said... Yeah, it's nice to be included, but the ultimate pleasure is to decline invitations. Isn't that right, Max? Max is looking solemnly in the corner. Isn't that right, Max? Max looks up with the determined look of a boxer who's lost many rounds but is ready to stage his comeback. I think we should do it. What? Right on! Oh no. So you think teenagers have killed emo music? No, not at all. That's stupid. Yes, they have. No. Being a teenager is hard and sad. Getting your heart broke as a teenager is the worst feeling in the world. They deserve emo. Who are we to deny a group the pleasure of reveling in their own pity? To disallow anyone to wallow in sadness? I say nay. Teenagers should be allowed the same emo experience we all had. Inspiring. Then why do it? I think I know. Care to elaborate? What Max has so brilliantly understated is that emo is about sadness, but most of that sadness in our old emo songs is heartbreak. Specifically the deep heartbreak that is only found in the fucked up minds of young adults. If I may be so bold, I believe Max is suggesting a new emo revolution. One for the kids who've aged out of the scene. I believe he's suggesting making music for grown-up emo kids. Exactly. Brilliant.